Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some Octopath Traveler. Last time we finished off Ulbrich's first chapter, uh, took out some bandits and stuff. Uh, th uh, this time we're going to be heading over to... Put the map, there we go. Uh, over here to Sunshade and meeting Primrose, who is probably my favourite. Maybe Tressa, maybe Ophelia, maybe Harnet. I like all the girls. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go meet Primrose, she's great. Um, I did a little bit of grinding off camera, but I didn't really need to. Uh, the game is recommending level 12 for Primrose's first chapter, and you can see we're well above that, so we should be fine. Uh, so on we go. Uh, we're gonna keep Ol Olberic in the party because I believe there are things vulnerable to swords in the desert sort of area, so... It will be helpful to have him around. We are going to run into a few monsters on the way, of course. Uh, we are, however, equipped to deal with this. Uh, at least decently so. Plunk. The Dread Falcon Lunescence. Yeah. <laughs> Let my arrow fly and try. Honey doesn't actually have a mass attack, which is interesting. I will not be defeated. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, we're getting another level for. Ophelia and Harnet. Okay, yeah, we're, we're a bit overleveled. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I believe this is the right way. I kind of wish the little radar thing would actually show you the layout of the area you're in, so it's a little clearer where you, where you need to go, which path you have to take to get to the next stores and stuff. Anyway, this is the Sunshade Sands. Uh, we will be meeting Primrose here when we get to Sunshade, so let's head on that way. And yeah, there'll be new enemies here that we don't know their weaknesses yet. I think a lot of them are weak to swords, though. Uh, let's just try a few things. Not weak to that. I think I think it's level slash you need to use. Okay, some of them are weak to swords. Not all of them. Uh, let's try trade tempers. Nope. How about you? I will cut you down. Well then. Uh, we could try staves, but I feel like they're probably not weak to that. Yeah, they're not. Uh, bows? Nope. Hmm. Uh, pole arms? Yeah, pole arms, okay. <laughs> well then. And they're weak to something, I just didn't know what it was. So yeah, when you meet new enemies, it takes a little bit of just trial and error. It's fun though. Whew. I'll live my life. Uh, is this cave? Whistling cabin, we don't want to go there yet, we're not strong enough. Bows? No. Uh, let's try light. Nope. Uh, let's try columns. Nope. I will cut you down! Swords? Yeah, they're weak to swords. Figured they might be.
battle is truly joined. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like his physical attacks aren't great. Okay, they are weak to axes. Huh. Alright. Da 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 da. Ba da ba da. Ba da ba da. Da. Okay, you can't go up there. I'm not quite sure where Sunshade actually is, so you're gonna have a little bit of wandering around. It's a good day for battle. No. Okay, I forgot to set up my mic properly. <laughs> um, that doesn't make sense. Um, it's got like a stand that you're supposed to lift up so it's at a good height, and I forgot to do that step. <laughs> I will cut you down. Okay, nope, they're not weak to swords. I do think a lot of stuff around this area is weak to swords. It might be weak to daggers, uh, which is what Primrose uses, or possibly dark magic, which is the other thing she uses. Uh... Neither of which we have access to yet. Okay, sandworm's weak to light magic. Sandworm. The sandworm. Polearms? Yeah, they went to polearms. Uh, let's try Trade Tempest? I don't know. Nope. Okay, so the, we know what the Sandworm is weak to. We don't know what this other guy's weak to at all. Uh, let's try Lightning? Lightning, okay. Okay, that's something. <sighs> Well, we got rid of it. We only know one of its weaknesses, so... Hmm... This guy has a lot of health. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, we're doing fine. You're bargain for. Du -du -du -du. So yeah, going to a new area, like regardless of your level, it's usually a bit harder because you don't know what the weaknesses for stuff are yet. So you don't know how to break them, and they get hits in. Whereas when you do manage to break them, they can't attack because they've been stunned, uh, which makes things a lot easier. It's just the old coin. Okay, I think this is it. Yeah, this is this is sunshade. All right. Hey Tempest? Nope. No. The um, weaknesses are always in the same order, so you can sort of infer what the ones you're missing are, but it's a little tricky. It's gonna help a lot when we get Primrose and we get her abilities on our team. Because we don't have those yet and we are lacking them. What are Sand Lizard Men weak to? Apart from lightning, which I already knew about. Um, bows? No. Axes? No, but it killed it. 
Hmm. I assume it's something I haven't got yet. Either dark magic or daggers, both of which Primrose has. Okay, here we are in Sunshade now. So this is where I started the game for the first time, because I picked Primrose in my first file. Um, and I really like her story, so... Uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. There she is there. Uh, we're just gonna heal up first, and then we're gonna go talk to her. Uh, there we go. Cool. Uh, there should be a save point somewhere nearby too. Yeah, there is. Hello, save point. At last. At last he's appeared before me. The man marked with the crow. The man who killed my father. Her name is Primrose, and she is a dancer. This is Sunshade, city of a thousand pleasures, forever shrouded in shadow. Driven into poverty when her noble house fell. She now plies her trade in a tavern, suffering no end of indignities at the hands of the cruel master Helganish. All for the day, she could have her revenge. Then one day he appeared, a man marked by the crow, one of the three foul villains who murdered her dear father. And so, aided by her sole friend Yusufa, she sprints from the tavern to the labyrinth below in pursuit. She will need loyal allies in the path she has chosen. Take Primrose along? Yes. Uh, we're going to swap her out for... I think Harnet is probably the most strategic option. Uh, because, like, her weaknesses and stuff aren't super applicable at the moment. But we'll see how we go. The beginning of the tale? The beginning of the tale? Yes. Even when the blade is held at your heart, faith should be your shield. Words of House Azelheart. Ten years ago. Funny how it works, isn't it? Everything that happens in this world falls into one of two neat little categories. Things one is better off knowing. And things one's better off not. Jeffrey Azelhart, I'm afraid you've been poking your nose into the ladder. I have only done as my convictions bade me do. I have no regrets. I thought you might say something like that. You're making this delightful. Make sure he's dead. Let's leave this place before we're seen. <laughs> it's done. Huh. I will never forget. We men, each marked with the sign of the crow. One on his left arm. One on his right. And the last on his neck. Three men. Foul scavengers. Just like the bird whose mark they bear. They took my father from me. And I will never forget. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was a really powerful scene. <laughs> Always the same dream. I wish I had your confidence, Primrose. I couldn't imagine nodding off minutes before my cue. How nice it must be to be the master's favorite. Mm. Fine. Go 
on and keep your airs. Act as though you're better than the rest of us. It doesn't change the fact that you're just another dancer in the sands, Primrose. Nothing but a kept woman, here to flatter the dignity of men who pay for the privilege. Wow. I suppose you're right. No, they're not. They're horrible. <sighs> Shh, enough chatter. Master Helganish is coming. Do I keep you women to titter here in the shadows? My customers are waiting for their entertainment! The opening act should be on that stage already. Now, get out there and earn your keep! Forgetting yourself. It was I who groaned in your face. And I will be forever grateful for that, Master. You were an ignorant girl when I picked you up. Completely useless. I've taught you everything you know. Yes, you are supposed to hate Helganish. It's working. that adorn your pretty neck. Who made you the most sought-after dancer in this dusty old town? It was me, old me. You owe me, kitten, and I'll see that debt repaid. Yes, master. Good then. Purr sweetly, and I may give you a treat. Don't dally when you're done with your show. I will be waiting in my chamber. I'll have you purr for me some more. Primrose, it's your cue. I'm coming. Put your face back on now, kitten. Yes. Master. The tavern lies at the end of the central road, just past the bazaar. I mustn't dally any longer. Okay, so now we can play as Primrose. Uh, as usual, you can't do a whole lot at the very beginning here, you just have to go where it tells you. Also, yeah, Helganish is a horrible person. Trust me, it's gonna be okay. This way, Primrose, get a move on. We can talk to all these people, I think. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What around town is the dancers here put on private shows for the master? If you know what I mean, heh. <laughs> yeah, so basically the the dancers are in fact sex workers, yes. And they have an abusive boss. And he's horrible. And I hate him. Ah, there you are. Kept us waiting long enough, Primrose. Forgive me. I was fixing my hair. <laughs> <laughs> it better have been worth it. You're our best chance of getting to eat tonight. And the customers have been waiting. I am ready. Let the show begin. It's her! It's her! Wolf whistling! Gross!
Watch over me, father. That day, I swore revenge against the men who took you from me. The three marked by the crow. My once proud house fallen, the left home far behind, following their trail. That trail has led me here. I heard one of them often passes through here on his travels. It was the smallest scrap of hope, but it was all I had. Until I find him, there is no disgrace I will not endure. Losing my honour is nothing compared to the pain of losing you. Father, I will not stop until I find the three and see justice served. And until I avenge you, I will dance. <laughs> I think I'm in love. <laughs> How about a private show, darling? You're all too kind, and too handsome, might I add. Wink. <laughs> Not bad, Primrose. Not bad. Thank you. Hmm? Look at your sandals. Seems you've gone and broken a strap. Go back to the dormitory and fetch yourself another pair. Yes. Most happily. Am I allowed to go upstairs and get that treasure? Yep, got a grape. Hey. Hey. Papa, Papa, I'm going to be in a play. I will be the princess and everyone will look at me. You'll come and watch too, won't you? Yes. Of course, my dear. Oh, thank you. Many thanks, my lord. <laughs> How is that? <laughs> and guess what, Papa? When I grow up, I'm going to be a beautiful dancing girl, the star of the stage. A dancing girl? That is a dream best forgotten. But why, Papa? Hmm. Helena, my dear, you want to grow up to be a fine lady, yes? Like the princess you will play? Then it would be better not to say such things. Not in this town, at least. But what's wrong with dancing? It's so much fun! Look at her! She's... she's beautiful! <laughs> Hello, child. Oh, come now! Come now, Helena. This way. I'll tuck you into bed back at the inn. Papa has business to attend to this night. I suppose I should get back to my own work. She got a blister. She's always dancing oh so passionately. Are you all right? Are you all right, Prim? Yes. I'm fine. It's nothing I haven't dealt with before. Hey! Don't you think that's enough already? Do you take such pleasure in others' pain? We're nothing but the master's playthings, all of us. And we all know what happens to the girls who displease him. Or have you forgotten? Beaten half to death and tossed in the gutter, left for dead, sick and starving. S stop that! Hm. We all know well enough where we stand. We know what he can do to us. Then why torment one of our own? Hmm. 
many things. Thank you, Yusufa, but there's no need for you to make furrows on my behalf. <sighs> Prim. Yell. What are you doing yowling back here? Sheath your claws, it's time for work. Or do you think money flows into my coffers by itself? Get out there and collect your tips. Wait a minute. Not you, Primrose. You stay. What was that sorry show you gave today? Uh, I think not. Do you think I'm blind? One glance was all I needed to know your mind was not where it ought to be. I can see every thought in that pretty, empty little head of yours, and they were not of dancing tonight. Hmm. You haven't forgotten your debts now, have you? You haven't forgotten who owns you. You know the fate that awaits you if you dare defy me, don't you, kitten? I'm warning you because I care, Primrose. I wouldn't want to see anything untoward happen to my shining star. Uh, forgive me. I'm sorry, Master. Forgive me. The truth is... I was simply remembering the first day I came here, to you. Oh, were you now? <laughs> not a day, not a moment passes when I am not thankful for all you have given me. Pray forgive my lack of focus today, Master. It will not happen again. <laughs> oh my dear, dear Primrose. I, too, often think back on the day you came to my door. Just imagining the sight of you dancing for me, as sweet and innocent as you were, it tickled me so. And you met my every expectation. You have been my best investment. But tonight, you have displeased me, and for this, you must atone. The crowd is looking thin tonight, out on the streets with you, and bring us some custom. Custom with coin enough to cover a week's expenses. If you can do that, I may still... go easy on you. <laughs> At least relatively so, kitten. Yes. You are kind, master. No, he's not. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> oh my god. Bravo, Prim. That was a performance for the ages. How do you do it? I want to vomit every time I have to call him Master. <laughs> what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be out collecting tips? Are you alright? I was worried about you. How is your foot? What? What? Here, use this. <laughs> a handkerchief? Be careful out there, okay? Oh, Thank you, Yusufa. What a sweetie. Path actions. Utilize each character's unique action to overcome any obstacle. Try pressing Y in front of a townsperson. Primrose can allure townspeople into following her. So allure is the, um... It's the, uh, proletariat version of, uh, Ophelia's guide action. Uh, you can allure people and then they, like, become summonable in battle, basically. <laughs> well, time to put on a different kind of show. Mm -hmm. This one looks to be the likely sort. Excuse me. Lovely evening, isn't it, my lord? <laughs> Mayhap you care to share it with me? My apologies. A tempting offer, but I travel on business. I must depart early on the morrow. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It must be a fascinating sort of business that you do. Perhaps you could tell me more over a drink. <laughs> I'd love to get to know you better. Most unfortunate. I, I am most afraid. I cannot. Excuse me. I dance at the tavern just down the street. 
<laughs> I'd be happy to put on a show just for you. So, yeah, that happened. <laughs> Uh, you can't allure some people, you can see it won't work here. You can, however, allure various women, which is good. Uh, this one I think works. Yeah, allure. Elderly woman. Strength 1. Skills. Pointed shot. Summonable 9. Chance of success 100%. Yes. Admit it now. Wouldn't you care to spend a little more time with me? Well, that was a lovely performance. Of course I'd be happy to go with you in return for such a show. Pray come hither. Now she's joined me. I think you need to do it to My this guy, apologies. though. Y you are a most lovely young lady, but as I said, I must away early on the morrow. So yeah, Primrose's power is flirting with people. <laughs> it's great. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Admit it now. Wouldn't you care to spend a little more time with me? Oh. Oh my. I cannot resist such beauty. Pray come hither. Okay, yeah, you have to take this guy for the story, for this part of the story, but later on we can just allure whoever we want, basically. So, it's pretty cool. Uh... <laughs> yes, that one's pockets look sufficiently deep. Good work, kitten. You'll be treated well tonight. Many thanks. You honor me, master. <laughs> the seats are starting to fill. See that not a single cup goes empty. Yes. Master. As you wish, master. Beg pardon. Good evening, gentlemen. Okay, th there are clearly some ladies at that table. Ah, uh, Primrose, you're looking more and more lovely each time I see you. <laughs> it's been a while since we last enjoyed your company. Will you be with us long this evening? <laughs> oh, ho as long as you'll have me for, my dear. <laughs> Is that so? I'll have to give it some thought then. <laughs> I'll see you again later. <laughs> Till next time. And if that's all... I'll be taking my leave. <gasps> Look how it is. <gasps> Could it be? <gasps> there. On his left arm. The mark of the crow. How long have I have I have waited how long I have waited for this day? Finally, you appear before me. This night, at long last, justice will be served. <laughs> no! Uh. I can't let him get away. Yeah. And where do you think you're going? <laughs> so curious about that man, are you? Was it love at first sight, kitten? <laughs> Master. I think not. You wouldn't think of abandoning the stage and your customers before the night is through, now would you? Back to work, Primrose. <laughs> I trust I don't need to repeat myself? Put your face back on you now. do remember what happens to the wicked little kittens who cross me, don't you? This is all I have. I may never get another chance like this again. Are you alright? Prim? What's the matter? It's not like you to look all flustered like this. Hmm. You don't need to tell me. For you to risk angering the master like that, it must be something important. Leave it to me. I'll keep his eyes busy. You slip out the back door on the upper floor. You shouldn't get involved. You will put yourself at risk. Look, Prim, maybe you don't tell me what you're thinking? Come on! 
but that doesn't matter to me. I'm on your side and always will be. <laughs> on my side? When the other girls would pick on me and tell me to know my place, you were always the only one who stood by me. You never say much. You're always so distant, aloof even. But I know you just, you just don't want to burden others with your troubles. I know you better than you think, Prim. I know that. And I know... Down, you have a good heart. Oh, A good... heart? Yusufa. I... thank you. <laughs> Always a woman of few words. I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, I ship it. <laughs> Cuties. So yeah, we just exited out that way. So we can sneak our way down here. You will bring the woman I need, the women I need, won't you now? Competent help is so hard to come by these days. Whatever is a man to do? <laughs> I, I can assure you, my lord, I am doing all that I can. Hmm. Halganish, we are friends, are we not? Friends take care of one another, yes? They do not disappoint each other. I... I will do everything in my power. I saw a fine dancing girl in the tavern. I'd rather like such a girl for my own. So it is... it is as I thought. Helganish knows him. Listen to me. Bring the woman to the place marked on this map. And... Helganish? Try not to keep me waiting. But of course, my lord. <laughs> that map. Ah! And so I must pursue the foul crow. Don't get involved. This is my problem, not yours. But I suppose you're free to do as you please. Come on already. If you're coming. Primrose joined the party. And that's the start of Primrose's tale. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you think Yusuf and Primrose are a cute couple. Because I do. Um, and we're going to bring this girl along. I reckon. The elderly woman we saw earlier. Admit it now. Wouldn't you care to spend a little more time with me? Well, that was a lovely performance. Yeah, we saw this already. Pray come hither. And yeah, so she can have one follower, and I believe we can also have Ophelia have a follower at the same time. If we find someone suitable. Uh, can't guide or allure you. Yeah, guide and allure are the same skill, basically. The proletariat and uh, bourgeois versions of it. Guide. Guide. Let the flame guide your path. Why, hello, sister. What do you need with an old man like me? There we go. Okay. Uh, so next time we're gonna actually make our way following the left-handed man or whatever. It's a weird name. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head to uh, just there. The green spot. I forget what it's called, but yeah, that's where we'll be going next. Um, we're following the left-handed man. Basically, like all the other characters, Primrose has a little dungeon to go through, and that's where we're going next. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, oh, the kind of catacombs, that's right. Okay, yeah, we're going to the catacombs next video. <laughs> Bye!